Well, I'm Darwin Anderson, a professor of soil science at the University of Saskatchewan, and we're here in the Thickwood Hills upland to, uh, to discuss and look at a gray luvisol soil. But before, I, well, first I would just like to say the features of the soil that make it a gray luvisol soil. The two features that are really important is this upper grayish colored, what we'll call a AE horizon, and just below the AE horizon, this fairly thick brownish colored and actually clay enriched horizon that we call the BT. So the two horizons which are more or less diagnostic of the gray luvisols is the grayish colored AE. One of the reasons why these soils uh, were once called gray wooded soils, uh, a very descriptive term, and, and the BT or uh, horizon where, the cl where clay has accumulated in the soil. Just to think about the soil forming factors here, we're here, this is glacial till, uh, and this is probably a moraine that uh, was formed about 10 or 12,000 years ago as the, as the ice uh, retreated from this part of Saskatchewan. In terms of some of the other soil forming factors, uh, we could consider time. Now, as I already mentioned, this is a about 12,000 year old parent material, but chances are that the kind of conditions that are here now may not have existed uh, for that long. For example, uh, the uh, the Aspen Forest may not have been here for the whole 10,000 years, but certainly we know that this Aspen Forest has been here for quite some time. In fact, the name given by the early explorers to this area probably in the mid to late 1800s, the Thickwood Hills, Thickwood tells me that they were probably a pretty continuous forest here at least 150 years ago.